Vitamin C is an essential nutrient that your body absolutely requires. Unfortunately, your body cannot manufacture it. But fortunately, this essential nutrient is very easy to acquire if you're hanging out in places like this. So I've been spending some time here, a couple hours, and I recently came across this nice disturbance to the baseline. These recently fallen eastern hemlock trees. And conifer trees in general are good sources of vitamin C. And the eastern hemlock tree, Suga canadensis, is no exception. But whenever I recommend harvesting from conifer trees, I typically recommend harvesting from the ones that have recently fallen down. And especially in the case with eastern hemlock trees, Suga canadensis, because this tree has been experiencing some setbacks lately. And these setbacks actually go back a couple centuries. So most people are familiar with the hemlock woolly adelgia, that invasive insect that's been wiping out eastern hemlock trees all across the eastern United States, including here in Pennsylvania where I live. But also this tree has been the target of the logging industry, the tannin industry, and a lot of human-induced development that has been responsible for basically obliterating native habitats where eastern hemlock trees should thrive. So let's do what we can to make sure that this tree is around for a very long time. And so if we're going to harvest some of it, harvest some of the portions that have recently fallen down. And that's what is going on right here because I can tell that this tree has recently fallen down or a couple trees have recently fallen down because I'm not seeing any fungal growth on this wood right here. If I would see fungal growth, I would assume that maybe it was already dead when it was standing and then it fell down. And also these leaves are still very green. It's not faded and I'm not seeing any brownish leaves at all. And so no fungal overgrowth and I'm not even seeing any brown leaves. So this tree has recently fallen down, probably due to a windstorm. And I'm not even seeing any signs of the hemlock woolly adelgid, which is always a good thing. So I'll probably harvest some of these leaves here and make a nice tea out of it because vitamin C is water soluble. And I won't bring it up to a rapid boil and I won't boil it probably at all. I'll just bring it up to a simmer and let that sit there for a while. And you're not going to destroy all the vitamin C if you heat it up because there are enough antioxidants in here like proanthocyanidins and polyphenols that'll protect against the degradation of vitamin C. Actually, the vitamin C is more concentrated in the inner bark, but today I feel like harvesting some of these leaves. And the eastern hemlock tree is an easy conifer tree to identify because the leaves of the needles are completely flat. They're not really pointed at the end. And on the underside, you'll see two silver strips, which are the stomata. So the two silver strips flatten leaves and if you're walking around Pennsylvania, especially in slopey areas with a lot of water, then you're probably coming across eastern hemlock trees. So I encourage you to get out there and look for different sources of vitamin C. It's an essential nutrient, but if you're hanging out in places like this, then I'm telling you, it's very, very easy to find.